So in continuing our examination of thematic development, I'd like to share with you a technique that I use in developing a theme. Uh, I, I will tell you it, it is a mathematical approach, but you don't need to understand the math to understand the technique um, as I use it. You don't have to use it, but this is what has worked for me in many examples. If I have a function, uh, say cosine of x or something similar, depending on if I add uh, a negative sign, a constant at the end, uh, subtract or add a constant, add a coefficient uh, to the function or whatever, it does a number of gradual transformations. It reflects it over the, the axes, it shifts it vertically or horizontally, it also stretches it or shrinks it in one of those directions. And as I gradually make those changes, it's quite different from the parent function. So I, I view a theme at almost the same way, like a, a parent function, and then by applying one of those changes gradually, it, uh, it morphs it into the end result or um, into the developed material. So an example of that might be rhythm. If we think about the, uh, the x-axis like it's time, then we can change from uh, a duple meter to a triple meter, making it quite different already. And then if we change the, the mode from major to minor or vice versa, that's another transformation. If we gradually do that, we can see it developing into something else. So I'm going to play an excerpt, I'll play the, 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 the theme, and then I'll play each of the transformations. This is uh, from my uh, Opus 13, Dreams of a Somnambulist. So here's the theme. of two or four beats. Now the first transformation is it shifts into the bass. Uh, it shortens as a bridge. And, and now the next transformation is into triplets. Now the triplets continue, and the tonality changes. transitional section and so on and then that leads to the next transformation uh, keeping keeping the uh, the alternating effect between the right and the left hand Let's see. and so on so uh, so hopefully that gives you an idea of one possible way of developing a theme. It's worked for me many times and I continue to, to use it. We'll talk about other techniques in future videos.